What's up guys? It's the Board Game Bulldog here again, DJ Maggard, up with another late, late Saturday showdown. Sorry about that, and some things come up. But anyways, I got all your votes tallied up. And if you want to know what your winner is, it's right here. Boom. Tonto Quarry, a deck made building game. You guys voted it. I'm gonna review it. Uh, give me a couple seconds to set this table up and we're gonna get right into it. But real quick, just wanted to let you guys know that there's some kind of cards in here that are kind of controversial. Nothing uh too too rated R, a little bit PG thirteen, I guess you could say. So if you really don't want to check that stuff out, just kind of try to skip to my final thoughts and uh, we'll get into it from there, okay? So see you soon. Alright guys, so here it is, Tonto Core. This is what your basic setup is going to look like. So this game uses a special mechanism called Love, which is basically like the money in this game. So pre-warning, here's one of those uh, cards that I was talking about. So there it is. These cards are worth one love. They have another one with the same picture. Worth two love. And worth three love. So obviously, like in all deck building games, you have your deck of ten cards. There's going to be seven of these one love cards. And then you're going to get three of a, of a certain uh, made card. Now, like I said, the object of this game is to... Acquire maid services through your house, <clears throat> and some of them are all worth different victory points. And whoever has the most victory points at the end of the game is the winner. So, <clears throat> like I said, you have your deck of cards here. You have everything you can buy is out on the table. Everything is going to have a number on the top left. That's how much love you need to spend in one turn to buy that card. So for instance, in a starting hand, you would pick up seven random cards. Let's say we pick, or five random cards, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so let's we say we picked up these four cards and this made card. So for right now, you have four love, which equals out to four dollars to accrue someone for their services. And you have this made card now. All made cards are gonna have uh, little specific abilities that they can do for your deck. So first of all, this made card is worth one victory point as you can see right here in this corner. It also has this ability called chamber made. So when you chamber made a card, basically it's, it's like saying you put it in a private quarters. Or the most easiest way to explain that is to put it in a separate deck aside from your your main deck okay so when you chamber made this card it's gonna take minus two servings that means on a turn you're only allowed to play one serving card meaning to play one card and you're only allowed to have one employment meaning you can only buy one of those cards normally other cards will allow you to have certain things to let you employ more or whatnot. But this card, for instance, saying if you have the most Colette's employed than any other player, you gain a bonus five victory points. So like I said, if you chamber main this, it's going to cost you, it's going to give you one point, one victory point, and it's already worth a victory point. Okay? <clears throat> so that's how it works. So back to your four love cards. You can go over here and see anything that's worth four love. So most of the time when you do a random setup, um, you should have all your cheaper love cards at the top and your more expensive while it's getting towards the bottom. By the way, real quick, you're gonna have a whole bunch of different other made cards in here. We usually put these off to the side because you only start off with a random 10 and then you get these two automatically, which comes part of the game. <clears throat> so like I said, there's other cards like uh, like this maid, for instance. She has all four abilities, so when you play her, she'll let you draw an extra card, you gain an extra love, you're allowed to play an extra card, and you're allowed to employ another maid. Pretty simple, right? And then they have like um, a weird kind of effect in the middle like hers is, um, you get two for each victory point, or you get two victory points for each one that you have of these if you have an odd number. If you have an even number, they're worth minus two victory points in your deck. Okay? So, when you employ a card, so back to our four love, you're going to take the card, and you're going to immediately put it in your discard pile. So let's say our deck is up here. 
So you're putting in your discard pile. Any cards that you have left over, because we used our one serving or our one employment to buy this card, is also going to go in your discard pile. And then whenever you run out of cards in your deck, you'll reshuffle your discard pile and then draw a new five cards. <clears throat> over here you have these more, uh, they're called private mates with a black border. They're going to have a special ability that happens. They're going to be on the top of your chamber maid deck at all time, your private quarter. So you're, you know, your little side deck that's always going to be out. And sometimes they're worth victory points as well. <clears throat> sometimes they're going to have like a cool little ability that kind of helps you out during the game. <clears throat> um, also in this game, you can purchase illness cards, which illness cards you throw in people's uh, chamber made decks and they lose <coughs> or I'm sorry you put them in their private quarters that's what I meant and uh, their maids will lose their their private maids will lose their ability bad habit cards basically you get you can give these to other people and put them in their uh, <coughs> their private quarters and they're worth minus one victory point each unless they have four more of them then they're worth minus four but like I said some of these cards They'll just give you uh, different abilities, and you're going to have to just try to work with the strategy of what's on the table. <clears throat> you know, like this is a cheap four card, and it's going to obviously give you, let me see if I can get this focused in. It's going to give you one draw, one extra love, and you're allowed to play one extra card from your hand. So eventually, you'll end up getting good you know, some of these cards combined with some of your buy cards. And like I said, you can buy extra love. Like this is going to cost you four love. So the, so when you buy this card, it's going to get give you two love back when you play it. Like I said, you can combinate, combo these cards in order to get these higher cards, which do better things. You have these, uh, I didn't say about these chambermaids, like this, this maid chief here. She's just worth six victory points. You don't get to chambermaid her or anything. The only ones you get to chambermaid are the ones that actually have that little icon saying chambermaid. But it's going to cost you two, um, two servings, basically. Two actions to play that card or to chambermaid her. And that's pretty much it. Um, when one of these cards gets bought, another card will replace it. Which you'll have this other deck of private maids. Um... <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The The way to end the game is when two piles run out of cards to no longer buy, the game stops, and that's when you tally up all the points. So I'm going to send you guys off to my uh, final thoughts. All right, guys. So that was my review of Tonto Kore. Right now I'm getting to my final thoughts about the game. So it's kind of... Uh, a basic deck building game it's a little bit fast paced you know you can go through certain things and uh, buy different types I'm sorry acquire the service of different types of maids <clears throat> and you know it's pretty easy to teach once you once you get it down um, and it goes by pretty fast you'd be surprised as long as you know everyone takes their turns pretty fast obviously there's a little bit of a just a little little bit of analysis paralysis in the game where someone could take their time trying to figure out oh well how can I get this much love to buy this person or or you know try to figure certain things out but if you play it the right way it won't take that long the box is let me see here the box is 30 to 60 minutes it's probably a 60 minute game if I don't know, if it's your first time uh, it's not, it's not that long. I, I give it more like the 30, 30 minute, 45 minute range. Like I said, once you get it down, it's pretty easy. Now, as far as the controversial artwork, there is some, you know, some kind of stuff in here. This age group says 12 plus. Well, uh, that's your discretion. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I said, there is some kind of artwork in here that might be uh, too iffy for certain age groups now there is I want to say three other expansions they're standalone expansions meaning they're games themselves but you can add them to this set and there's three of them out there currently right now so uh, I don't know if you guys are interested go ahead and try this out <clears throat> this has been another board game bulldog review with DJ Maggard until next time 
If you're bored, game. <laughs>